The walls of this religious school, once painted with Islamic verses, are now peppered with bullet holes. And black flies swarm over a makeshift bunker, blasted apart under a stairwell. For the first time, journalists were guided through the Red Mosque complex Thursday. It comes just hours after the Pakistani military cleared rebel fighters holed up in the complex, which also housed a school for boys and girls. The action ended a bloody eight-day siege that left more than 100 people dead. Officials say none appeared to be women or children, but some of the bodies were burned beyond recognition. The government says thousands of hostages, mostly students and their teachers, escaped unharmed during the week-long standoff. But the chief of that country's biggest Islamic party alleges hundreds to a thousand people were killed in the army attack. Meantime, mourners began to bury some of the victims. At one funeral, the chief cleric of the mosque predicted the bloodshed would drive Pakistan toward an Islamic revolution. But during a nationally televised address, Pakistan's president vowed to crush Islamic extremists in every corner of the country. And that includes the religious schools blamed for inciting extremists. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.